Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be about how to fix a broken blueprint if you rename the parent class of the blueprint and you can no longer open it. So I have this child actor blueprint here that extends from a class I made called old actor. And if we look at the C++ for this old actor, uh, it's just an actor. It has a uStatic mesh component root mesh. And in the constructor, all it does is create that root mesh as a default sub object and set it as the root. So in the blueprint, you can see the static mesh is just a cube and we have a material set. And if I add this to my level, you can see that it's just a box. And I'm gonna save that just to show you what happens to that reference later as well. So first of all, let's reproduce the problem and I'm gonna rename this child actor's parent. So in the code here, let's rename old actor to new actor. I'll rename this CPP file. I'll rename the header file. And then just replace all these old actor references with new actor. So the header and the CPP. Now we have a new actor instead, and we have new actor.h and new actor.cpp. We can go ahead and close our editor and then rebuild. So now that we're back in the editor, first you can notice that the box I put in the level has disappeared, and that's because the actor is no longer valid. And if I try to open BP child actor, I get an error saying blueprint could not be loaded because it derives from an invalid class. So it's actually pretty easy to fix this. And thank you for the discussion I had on Reddit. I actually did this the wrong way the first time and I ended up remaking the video as a result. But if you go back to our C++ project, you can open a config file called default engine.ini. And at the bottom here, if you don't already have this section, you want to add a section called core redirects and then add a class redirect and you can give it the old name of the class which was old actor and you give it the new name which is new actor so this will tell all the blueprints uh, when they load if they have a reference to old actor replace it with new actor and so let's close the tutorial project once again and rebuild And you can see right away that our box comes back in, back in the level because the blueprint's now valid. And I can open BP Child Actor once again. And very importantly, the data in this did not get lost. We still have the same mesh and the same material. And if you had other stuff in here, that would also be the same as well. And everything works again. Now, one caveat with redirectors is if I remove that or I move this to another project or whatever, uh, if I go back to the, the code, and remove, remove this redirector. So now let's rebuild again. And you'll notice once again, our block is missing and we can't open this anymore because obviously the redirector is gone. So you can actually make the change permanent if you'd like. So if I go back and add our redirector in once again and rebuild. So you can see once again, our block is back and I can open this blueprint again. And to make it permanent, all you actually need to do is hit save. And this will, if it has a redirect, redirector, will save to disk with the new name and not the old name. And so the redirector is no longer needed. And so now if I restart once again and just make sure everything's saved. And if I remove the redirect, it should no longer be needed. So if I build and run one last time. And you can see even without the redirector now, our block is back in the level and I can still open our child actor here. So that's how you fix broken blueprints if you rename the parents. And the only other thing you have to keep in mind is if you had references to the parent in let's say the level blueprint or some other blueprint, um, you need the redirector to stay around until you've saved all of those other blueprints. And there's no good way at the moment to automatically do that. I and mean, you could just go save every file in your project or if you know which things reference it, just open those and save it. Or you can leave the redirector around and just don't reuse that old name until all of the references have been replaced. There is, for other types of redirectors, there's a fix up redirector command in the context menu, but this actually doesn't work for core redirects, which we just used. And I'll have another video in the future explaining all about these and the differences between those and core redirects and hopefully a good solution for how to replace all the references to core redirects as well. So 
Thanks for watching. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe and have a good one.